This project all started with drinking. You got this. I don't have anybody to compete against. I don't know if I'm gonna be that fast. You got this. <laughs> Over the past winter, me and my neighbors ended up with a lot of beer cans on our hands. And I wanted to find a way to take something as common and readily available as beer cans and make it into something completely different. I've been pretty interested in like textures and organic shapes and the way that light plays off of um, different shiny surfaces. So this project was a cool way to bring that all together and recycle some of the beer cans. So the first thing I did was kind of create a rough design for what I wanted to have it look like. So I knew it was going to be a cool piece of wall art. At first I kind of wanted it to be a fountain and have LEDs and all this stuff, but I kind of scaled it back a little bit <laughs> just because I started a new job and didn't have quite the time I thought I would to get through that. So with the design figured out, I started cutting into the beer cans to flatten them out and start making them into shingles. When I had them all flattened out, I used a template and cut them all to the same size and shape. I think I used about 80 cans to make this and sort of had to bend them down because they always wanted to go back and curve to their can shape. So with that all done, I used a ball peen hammer and just gave them some texture so that they look to me kind of like fish scales, which I liked. I, I really liked the texture of them once I had them all done. And again, 80 cans uh, <laughs> hammered to look like fish scales, so that took a minute, but I think I binge watched all of Alone during that time. Then I just needed the backboard to mount all of these shingles onto, so I used a pallet that I'd gotten from work and just started disassembling it. Lost a screwdriver, unfortunately, along the way, but then I cut it to shape and put it all together and had this kind of asymmetric coffin shape as one of my uh, friends put it to me. So with the backboard done, then I just needed to mount all the shingles to the backboard and I used a staple gun and oh my god, <laughs> I got like a blister, straight up got a blister on my finger from just stapling all these freaking shingles to this wood. Use some lines to keep it all straight and I think it turned out really nicely. Kind of as I was stapling I realized I could like fold it uh, around the edges almost like doing upholstery and then staple it onto the back so that the, the sides look nice. And so once I got through all that and had them all stapled down, it's pretty much done and then all I had left to do was to put it up on the wall and to do this I just went to Home Depot and I found this like ook, I don't know, I think it's called a wall cleat and I like it a lot because it was pretty dang easy to install and you can just put it straight into drywall so you don't need to find studs or anything and it supports like 200 pounds which is way overkill for this. I really like how the project turned out. I think the shingles came out almost better than I expected just the way that they do look like fish scales and have that cool organic type of texture. And then with this, I have a color changing LED light in my room and the way that it reflects that light off of it, especially when my room is dark, I just think it looks really cool. So I'm excited with the fact that I used these cans that I just had lying around and was able to turn them into something that's really sweet. But if you're at the end again, thanks for watching. Subscribe. I don't know. Doom. Okay. Only 12 minutes. We're done.